Chicago pretty much has collapsed. The crime rate is going through the roof. 457 cars stolen in a single week. That's something I've never seen before. Maybe like 400 cars stolen, maybe like in a whole year or maybe in a couple years. But apparently Chicago, this is a weekly thing. On average, 65 cars are stolen each day. This is a crazy high number. It's so high to the point the cops can't even do much about it. In fact, Chicago PD is so overstretched, especially the migrant crisis. Even if there are like a thousand cars being stolen in a single week, what are you going to do? Like the most you could catch is like one or two people and many times those people are just let out. The laws are extremely lax. There's not enough cops. Everyone's overstretched. And yes, in fact, I think if you live in Chicago, owning a car might just be a liability. You might as well just walk or take an Uber. Might actually save you the money and save you the headache and pain. And if you check this out, Mayor Brandon Johnson on the illegal migrant crisis. Do you not understand that you have not got a mayor like me? I'm doing all of this with a wife and three kids. Seems like Mayor Brandon Johnson thinks having a wife and three kids is a, something that's very special and unique. And this is what I'm saying, guys. You know, the mayor is pretty much not really doing what he's supposed to be doing, according to a lot of Chicago citizens. Says that he's neglecting many of the services to the homeless veterans in Chicago, the domestic Chicago homeless problem, and also the crime problem. Chicago is now spending hundreds of millions of dollars on a migrant crisis, something they didn't have to do. They're spending so much crazy money on the migrant crisis that they're kind of going broke. There's even a lot of talks about how Chicago is so down bad. They're asking the suburbs of Illinois to take in their migrants because they can't take all these people in. I wonder who started all this, right? Chicago is in a migrant apocalypse right now. Every Chicago citizen people have been talked to is they've survived the lockdown, the looting, the violent crime, and now they have the migrant crisis. It seems like Chicago just can't catch a break right now. This is why so many of these sanctuary cities, these super left-leaning cities, are just becoming just terrible. People are turned off by it, and many businesses are leaving. Not to mention now Chicago's future is now threatened as a financial hub. There is going to be a massive new tax being implemented by Mayor Brandon Johnson. I think the reason why he's implementing this crazy high tax is to pay for the migrant crisis, which many Chicago citizens are not happy about. And since Chicago doesn't want to really beg for money or go into a budget deficit, guess what they do? They tax the crap out of commercial real estate. Commercial real estate in Chicago is already down bad with barely any transactions. But they're like, you know what? I know commercial real estate is super bad and nobody's buying it, but let's just slap on another almost a billion dollars in new taxes. Many business leaders are considering quitting the city and slam him from not curbing crime rates. You know, Chicago, they spend $200 million on the migrant crisis. I think you could spend $200 million on the crime and maybe make the city just a little bit more livable. You were to have some of the richest people in America, like Ken Griffin and Citadel. They straight up moved out of Chicago, the whole entire hedge fund. And the reason why is he's like, crime rate is through the roof. It's impossible to live here. Guess where he moved? He moved to Miami. Really not that surprising. Now, one of the biggest things about Chicago and about the crime is... There really isn't anyone caring about it. Nobody cares. That's a scary part. And small banks are also headed towards trouble in Chicago, with 20 of the largest banks in Chicago having over 50% of the loans devoted to commercial assets. Oh, by the way, did you know that Chicago is also implementing a crazy commercial real estate tax? That basically just killed off the commercial real estate, basically killed off 20 largest banks in Chicago, and also, the property sales are now down 44% in 2023. This pretty much shows that Chicago is no longer the financial hub. Chicago has truly collapsed at this point. And lots of its businesses, its talent, and many of the rich people are now moving to states like Nevada, Texas, and Florida. We have now got new financial hubs like Las Vegas, which traditionally is gambling. You have Miami, which traditionally is hospitality and beaches, but it's now Wall Street of the South. A lot of billionaires and millionaires are leaving Chicago. They don't want to come here. It's unsafe. And if you have a, let's say, a car, well, you're playing like car roulette at this point. The chances of you getting your car stolen is sky high compared to other cities. And 
I don't know why would anyone even move here. Even freaking Boeing has moved out their headquarters out of Chicago to like West Virginia. So thanks so much, guys. Comment below and see you later.